all right, I want to comment on John 14, 28. This is a verse that people, the Trinitarians will run to to say that, see, look, Jesus is not God the Father because he says the Father is greater than him. Well, I'm going to show you what Jesus actually meant in this passage because this is a verse where people, they'll often jump to this verse. I mean, you'll see all the Trinitarians, they'll always say, well, Jesus can't be God the Father because the Father is greater than him. So what they're implying is that basically the Father is more of a God than, than Jesus. Well, I'm going to show you this is not the case. I'll read you John 14, 28 and show you what Jesus meant when he said that. John 14, 28. Ye have heard now, I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. If ye love me, ye will, ye will rejoice, because I said I go unto my Father, for my Father is greater than I. So they'll say, Jesus says the Father is greater than him. Okay, what did he mean when he said that? Well, compare John 14, 28 to 1 Corinthians 15, 24 and 28. I'll show you that right now. 1 Corinthians 15, 24. Then cometh the end when he shall have delivered up the kingdom to God, even the Father, when he shall have put down all rule and all authority and power. So Jesus is bringing the kingdom up to God the Father. So there is separation, obviously, in the Godhead because Jesus is bringing the kingdom up to the Father. But look at verse 28. And when all things shall be subdued unto him, then shall the Son also be subject unto him that put all things under him, and that, that God may be all in all. So the Son is subject to the Father. So what did Jesus mean when he says the Father is greater than I? What he's saying is that there's a hierarchy in the Godhead, basically in terms of like authority. Like there's verses where the Father sent the Holy Ghost. So obviously the Father is the highest in terms of like authority in the Godhead. He can basically send the Son, send the Holy Ghost. Um, Jesus was actually doing the will of the Father in John 14, 25, 14, 35 and John 6, 38. So Jesus is doing the will of the Father in John 14. Jesus talks about how the Father will send the Holy Ghost. So there's obviously a hierarchy in the Godhead. The Father sent the Son. The Father can send the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. But this isn't saying the Father is separate from the Son. That, that's a common misconception. The Father is, in terms, of the, in terms of authority and hierarchy, is the head of the Godhead. Because, you know, the Son is subject unto him and he can send the Son. But, however, they're not two separate gods, as the Trinitarians will try to claim. So I just wanted to comment on that, because this is a, a verse they always run to, to prove that, to try to disprove the biblical Godhead. And I just wanted to show you that, that Jesus, that's not what he meant. He wasn't saying the Father is separate from him. Okay? That's what he meant. So, anyway, don't be deceived by Trinitarianism. God bless you. Goodbye.